In this video, I'm going to be assembling my strap clamp from the plans that are available on my website. And if you'd like to make one of these for yourself, plans are available and there's a link in the description. As usual, to get started, I cut out all the parts and I'm using solid hardwood for all the wooden parts in this project. Most of the inside parts will be maple and the outside covers and the handle will be cherry. But any strong hardwood will work for this. The first step in the assembly is to glue the sides and the front to the bottom cover. I'm using regular wood glue for this and spring clamps to hold it together until the glue dries. The next step is to get the lead screw put together. And in particular here, there are a couple of different ways you can do this. The lead screw is threaded into a wooden block and you can either drill that out and thread it with a tap or a homemade tap, or you can drill out the hole oversize and put in a T-nut instead. I'm gonna go with the first method on this because I have a lot of faith in the threads that can be cut into wood. And the first step is to drill the hole with a 5 16 inch drill bit and then cut the threads into it with a 3 8 inch tap. Now I've got the tap mounted in my drill and I'm only going to go in one direction. I'm going to start driving it in and I'm going to go all the way through and I'm not going to back it out. I find that you get much better threads, a much tighter fit when you only go through one time. With that hole tapped, I can thread it onto the lead screw and then the next thing I need to do is slip on the other parts that need to be on here. And then I'm going to glue on the handle and the nut that goes on the end using 5 minute epoxy. I can pre-assemble one other thing before I have to take a break and let all the glue dry. And that's to glue and clamp the retainer to the pad. And I'm just using regular wood glue for this. I actually, now that I think about it, there is one other thing that I can glue together. And that's to get the spools glued onto the bottom yoke. Okay, I gave that glue about an hour to dry. And the epoxy especially is set up enough that I can proceed. So I still have a couple of other things to glue together, but first what I want to do is I want to add a pin to this nut at the end of the lead screw. While I'm fairly sure that the epoxy will never fail here, I'm absolutely certain that when I put a pin in there, that will never fail. So I figure it's worth the 10 minutes that it takes to do it. Next, I need to glue the 3 8 inch washer to the clamp pad in the front. But first, I need to get the quarter inch washer inside the counter bore. And I'm also going to put a little bit of grease in here. This is actually Vaseline, and that'll provide a little bit of lubrication. And with that washer glued on and clamped, the nut should turn freely inside the retainer. Then I can glue the spool assembly that I already started putting together to the screw block and then put the other yoke on top of that. It's a little bit tricky to do this all at the same time. So what I did was I glued the bottom yoke on first and then clamped that up and let the glue set for about 15 minutes. While I'm waiting for the glue to set up on the first part of the spool assembly, I can get the strap attached on the inside of the clamp. And to do that, I'm using a combination of epoxy plus a washer and a screw. Once again, I gave the glue about an hour to dry 
And now we're at the fun part where you wind the strap in around the mechanism. Now basically what I've done here is I went ahead and did it, but what I'm going to do now is take the strap back out again on camera so that you can see exactly how it winds in around there. It's actually pretty easy to do. And then I've only got one gluing operation left to do, but before I do that, I have to check to make sure that the spool assembly has enough clearance inside the case. Another thing that I'm going to do is optional, and it's very much like the pin that I put through the nut. However, I'm not completely convinced that this will make a significant difference. And what it is, is to drill a hole through each of the spools and then glue a two inch nail in. And what this does is it's supposed to anyway, reinforce the spools. At this point, all of the gluing is done. So what I did was I left the clamp to dry overnight. And before I put the top cover on, I want to quickly try it out. I'm just going to loop the strap around this drill index and tighten it up and see how well it works. And of course, I can't put full pressure on here because the top is still open, but it seems to be working really well. The final step in the assembly is to screw on the top cover. And then I can do some final sanding and put a finish on here that's going to keep it clean and looking good. I'm going to use linseed oil for my first coat because it really brings out the grain and color of the wood. And after that dries thoroughly, I'll follow that up with a coat of water-based polyurethane and that'll really increase the durability. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, plans are available for this clamp and there's a link in the description that'll take you right there. My plans are step-by-step -step and very easy to follow and they show all of the dimensions in both Imperial and Metric. And by buying them, you help support the work I'm doing to bring you these projects.